Hi brothers and sisters. This is it's really late right now. It's uh, 3 o'clock in the morning and um, my ministry is 2407. So if the Lord drops a message in my spirit, I'm just going to come out and speak about it. I had subscribers ask me questions like um, why are there a lot of people saying that their ministry is coming to an end and this, that, and the other and that some watchmen are saying that they were called to preach and they want you to donate. Okay, to address the first part of this question, first of all, you must always test the spirits. First of all, the only one that says when you, your um, ministry is over is Jesus Christ. We are required to preach the gospel and make disciples of nations. But, there may be a time when Jesus Christ may call you away to do something else for the kingdom of God that does involve reaping souls for the kingdom of heaven. Okay? Jesus Christ makes that call. So if your ministry comes to an end, Jesus Christ alone would make that call. Now, we have to test the spirits because Satan can pose as an angel of light and will try to get any watchmen off the wall so they can stop preaching the gospel. And these are the, the true righteous watchmen on the wall that are righteous in the Lord Jesus Christ that, that preach nothing but truth. You must test the spirits. If you feel in your spirit that something's telling you to leave the ministry, you go into your prayer closet, you ask Jesus Christ if that is him. And Jesus Christ will show you the answer in one of two ways. A servant of God will come to you and you will be given the revelation, I can promise you that. Or God will show you in another way. It could be a dream or a vision, or it can be another way. You will know, believe me, you will know. If it is a dream or vision, you must test the spirits if that message is from God, and you have to consistently always seek the counsel of Jesus Christ. Um, I told you before that um, my ministry will be coming to an end. I don't know when that is on the Lord's appointed time. I know that when I'm not on here, I'm doing lots of deliverance cases. I'm counseling. I already told you uh, those that have military kinsmen overseas, um, you know, that they have military loved ones right now in deployment. I also counsel um, those that are in long distance relationships, those that are having marriage problems. Um, like I said, I do deliverance cases. I preach the gospel even when I'm not on here. So I'm still reaping souls for the kingdom of heaven by the, by the uh, glory of God, all by the hand of the Most High God, Jesus Christ, not by mine. Okay, so I believe it is possible a watchman could be called away from the ministry online to perhaps run another ministry, maybe a hospital ministry, where you're tending to... Souls that are terminally ill, getting them to repent to God, to come to Jesus Christ. Um, you could even be running a military ministry um, like I am. You could have multiple ministries. Um, you could even be doing solely deliverance cases. You could be working um, for charity, being on a mission, you know, Christian, or being working as a Christian missionary, I mean. So, that's what I meant. Um... So that's the first part of the question. Seek Jesus Christ. If you feel something is telling you in your spirit that you have to leave the ministry, you have to seek Jesus Christ's counsel to see if that is him telling you that. Because you don't want to just leave on a whim, rely on your own understanding, knowing that it's wrong to lie on your own understanding, thereby blaspheming God. Remember Hebrews 10, 26 says, if you commit a sin after having that knowledge, there's no sacrificial blood left to wash that sin away. Second part. Um, yes, I have been noticing Quite a, lot, quite a lot of individuals that claim that God has called them to preach here or there. And I notice that the destinations are not local. They are usually in another state or in another country. Look, be careful with scum, scam artists like that. Be very careful. My thing is this. If they're called to preach in another country or another state... Why don't they get a job and cover the ticket themselves? Why do they need donations? That's one. Two, 
you don't know what these individuals are doing behind the camera. You don't know if they're using that money to go preach somewhere else. You don't know if they're putting up a fake front in the front of you, in the front of you, maybe taping a video here or there, looking, making it look like they're preaching, when in fact, behind the camera, they're using their money for their own needs, robbing God blind. God is very clear in the word. You cannot accept donations. It is very clear because when God sent out the 12 disciples, he made it clear to them not to take any money for ministering to lost souls. So if you are running a so-called homeless ministry, same rules apply. You can't accept donations. You're, you're, you're taking donations from some people that can't even afford it. If you're running a so-called homeless ministry and you really want to do that, you could ask your subscribers and supporters to direct um, to donate directly to the homeless organization that you are sponsoring, that you are working for. You know, a lot of people say they run a homeless ministry. My question to you is this. Do you have a shelter for homeless people that actually live there? Are you licensed by the state? Um, are you a non-for-profit? Meaning, do you have a legitimate homeless shelter, not something you're running out of the trunk of your car or your basement? Do you have homeless people living there? If you don't have either or, then how do we know that you're legitimate? You could be pocketing that money for all we know. Ladies and gentlemen, look, you've got to be very careful. Satan is very cunning, okay? The blessing you could be trying to give to somebody else that needs help, Satan could be, Satan could be stealing that blessing. So if you have someone that says that they're running a homeless ministry, do not donate to them directly. My advice is to donate to your local homeless shelter. Well, you could make a difference just as much as if you would in another state. Or ask the person that's asking you for donation, what homeless organization are they working for? Are you going to send a do donation directly there? That's my best advice. Don't give it to the person because you don't know what they're doing. You can't trust anybody. And God's very clear. You can The ministry cannot accept donations. I don't care what they say about tithings, this, that, and the other. You can't accept donations. God's very clear in the word. He frowns upon that. It's an abomination to him. Now, those that choose to give a donation, that is, a, that is your choice. Just think, when you write that check or give your debit card to that person, that so-called ministry, are you sure your money's going to the right cause or is it going in that person's pocket? The only one that knows is Jesus Christ. Are you sure when you give out that blessing, you're not depriving somebody else that, you know, you're not depriving someone else that really, of that really needs that possible blessing. In other words, you're not depriving a person that really needs the help, that really needs that blessing. Because if you don't seek God's counsel and ask him for an answer, ask him if you should donate to a particular ministry and ask him for his help. You just lean on, lean on your own understanding, knowing what I'm telling you, that what you're doing, if you donate, it is a sin. You could disagree or agree, but it's a sin, and you're going to donate anyway. Okay, when I say it's a sin, this is what I mean. It is a sin not to seek God's counsel. So when you donate to a ministry, not sure if it's the right thing to do, that you could be taking a blessing from someone else that really needs the help, and you do it anyway, and you lean on your own counsel. Remember Hebrews 10, 26, because now you know it's wrong. You could be helping somebody else. You could, you know, you could be giving someone else that blessing. So my advice is to pray to God and ask if donating is the right thing. You have a choice to donate and give someone else a blessing. That part is not a sin. Ministries that ask for donation, that is a sin. They're not supposed to do it and they know it, but they choose to ignore it. But you as the donor, you can give a donation if you choose to do so. Just be careful who you give to because like I said, you don't know if they're pocketing the money. You don't know what they're doing with those funds. You need to be very careful these days. There are a bunch of scam artists here on YouTube and abroad that claim to be watchmen and ministers. They ask for donations but they're pocketing it. They have no business asking you people for donations. 
because they want to preach somewhere else. If they want to preach in another state or in another country, get a job and buy your own plane tickets. That's that's what I feel. Buy your own plane tickets. There's no need for you to beg for money, asking people for their hard-earned money just so you can go travel somewhere. If you really want to preach the word of God, you could preach right on your street. You'll be making just as much a big difference, if not bigger. Bigger impact, if not bigger. Or you could just preach on Facebook, YouTube. You don't need any money for that. Be careful, ladies and gentlemen. There's a bunch of sick people on YouTube and out in the world. They're asking you for your hard-earned money. Meanwhile, behind the camera, they're robbing God blind, and it's a sad shame.